Shalom, Shalom, Yahshua Allah. I want to start off first things first with all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Ra Kadash, which in the petty Hebrew tongue is the correct name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Noble honors to the apostles, elders of the Great Millstone, and Shalom to your sister and brothers living in the truth, and Shalom to your brothers and sisters that's listening and studying to show yourselves approved. It's going to be another quick little watchman lesson. Kind of an extension of the highway and hedges we did last Sunday. Because as soon as we finish doing the highway and hedges, like we said, we had it going there. A whole lot is going on. They just had another, uh, to me, another assassination attempt on Trump that I believe was staged. You know, you got the beloved elder in Chicago, Elder Malcolm. He got a lesson right here, man. I, I really advise y'all to watch it, where he break it down. Like he say, hey, got more holes than Swiss cheese. And we know why Trump going through that. He got another uh, case he got to go see, another court hearing. So he's trying to get that sympathy. But nonetheless, it's playing on the emotions of the people, especially the Edomite followers. So right now, the Lord is shaking everybody's emotions up. He's shaking them all up. A whole lot of things are going on. A whole lot of things is changing. You know, they say a Jake, this guy Lynch, here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You know, I'm going to wait some more details and get in on that. And you can just tell, like, prophecy is really about to be fulfilled. You know, so a whole lot of things going on right now. So I'm going to cover a couple of little issues that I've seen, you know, as we've been watching for Israel. As I just report the activities and filter through the scriptures, you know, get prophecy about it. And, you know, Esau got a lot of propaganda going on right now. It's a whole bunch of look over here why they make a move over here. But nonetheless, they are making moves. And I want to report one. You know, put it's kind of like really some World War Three talk, really. Because it deals with those kind of issues. When you go to, I got an article pulled up. It says that Venezuela says U.S. Navy SEAL among foreigners arrested over alleged CIA operation to assassinate Maduro. So it's the second thing we don't see is an assassination. And basically, this looks like, while I think it's some truth to it, it could be real, could be fake, but while I believe it got some truth to it, because this looks like the same playbook, the same move they used to assassinate the Haitian president when they did that during, you know, the 1-9 situation. Same move. They had U.S. Navy SEALs with people from that country do a little, you know, a strike. So it says, Venezuela says it has arrested six foreigners, including the U.S. Navy SEAL, for alleged plot to destabilize, you know, Batman Great America, good for that, <laughs> the country that has been in crisis since disputed elections earlier this year. So they done voted this dude, I think his name is Nicolas Maduro, and the people don't want him. You know, that's why I thought he was Esau's puppy, but... As the article sounded, it seemed like, you know, dude done tried to switch gears on him. They trying to take him out. He's probably trying to get into the BRICS nations. That's just my guess, you know, me speculating through the spirit. But nonetheless, it's in the news. The narrative is going out that USA tried to take out somebody's world leader. Now, how do you think that does for other foreign relationships that the Babylon Great America has? You know, it's looking real bad. Everybody's starting to see. He's all been exposed. This time, how, how did this hit the news? Now, if it hit the news, it could be some fake stuff. Look over here while they do something else over there. Could be. But it also could be, you know, they got caught. Or a dude just changed his mind on them. So I wonder what I read all of it. It says, the accusation comes of Venezuela's opposition. Multiple Latin leaders in the United States refuse to recognize Maduro's disputed election win, which has been followed by daily protests during which thousands were arrested. Woo! Ain't that big. That's what's going to happen over here. Depending on whoever wins. If Kamala Harris wins, there's going to be some uproar. If Donald Trump wins, there's going to be some uproar. So, what Venezuela just went through, expect Babylon the Great to go through the same thing. And I'm looking like, what left do Venezuela got? You are, we are already seen them throw their money out. They don't already hit hyperinflation. Like, Babylon the Great done ravished. Venezuela. All right, what else is there left to lose? And you gotta think, Venezuela is a big time oil export, big time. And they might be thinking about switching allegiances 
and going into the BRICS. Because I heard, you know, when Ox said that BRICS is looking to add 159 countries, Venezuela might be in there. You know, USA can't have that. They already, you know, the dollar is about to lose its little power. Because if all these countries initiate their BRICS thing, man, that dollar is going to collapse and die. Which is really what the elites want. Because that's going to lead to the chaos that we've been talking about. So I'm going to get to a scripture. Because I thoroughly believe, like, yeah, that was Esau. Let's go back to that. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 12 and 17. And it says, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Edomite, a U.S. citizen, a Navy SEAL, was found in that arrest group, looking just like what they did in Haiti. It says that though he pretend to help thee, he shall undermine thee. See that? Esau always do that. Esau, I'm coming to do this for you. This is going to help your country. It'd be a good deal. And it's always for this devil to get over. And I noticed since we're in the age of Esau being exposed, it's hard for him to get over like he used to. Countries don't trust him no more. They're like, nah, we got it. Especially in my country. Your African countries, they're like, nah, we got it, man. We don't need your help, man. You know, so... This is Esau's old move because he ain't switching it up. It's the same old tactic. And it's like it's not working no more. If he can't sell this worthless dollar to people no more, man, expect inflation to kick up over here in Babylon the Great. You know, which is, is going to lead to that MOTB, the Mark of the Beast. So I want to pull up another article. Because right now the big talk is about BRICS, BRICS nation. You know, um... That, that Russia is spearheading. And it says three U.S. sections to be affected if BRICS ditches the dollar with the schedule. It says the BRICS alliance is aiming to uproot the U.S. dollar's global supremacy by promoting the local currencies for trade settlements. Woo! Keyword uproot is in the article. Because if this dollar collapses, that's the signal for Esau Edom, so-called white man, to lose his kingdom. Which that... Since I've seen that word uproot, it brings a scripture to my mind. See if I got it. That, that brings a show of scripture. And I know it's in Sirach too. There it go. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach. 10 and 15, the Lord has plucked up the roots of the proud nation and planted the lowly in their place. That's what's happening right now. The Lord is plucking up the roots. Go to Esau's money. His money sits on that dollar bill. If that gets destabilized and plucked up, like that article said about the roots, that's the end of Esau Edom. Now, he's going to throw out a, a fake digital currency, which the MOTB will go out with it. And it is not going to work. It's going to fail spectacularly, you know. And that's the Lord uprooting the proud nations, man. I'm talking about the European nations, which is Edomites, you know, Europeans. And then your Americans, you know, your American Edomites. You know, the two Western powers. They call it the West. You know, that's going to be plucked up. That's your proud nation. Nobody's more proud than the so-called white man. Nobody. You know, and he said they're going to plant the lowly in their place. Who's the lowly? Children of Israel, we on the bottom right now. When your house shot gets here, you're going to flip everything right side up. And that's what these devils is in the uproar about, man. You know, you got the, the Trump elections, the all the drama with that, the political theater. You got hatred being stirred up, anger being stirred up, confusion being stirred up. And, and like the perfect catalyst for to make it pop is to crash that U.S. dollar. I saw it. Hey, it's all set up, man. And we're, we're witnessing it. And you can't be like, oh, no, it ain't happening. Yes, it is. Let's get back to the article. It says, BRICS wants to strengthen their native economies by cutting ties with U.S. dollar for cross-border transactions. Uh, weak saying I'm strong. Here that says, strengthen their native economies. That's the weak saying I'm strong, man. They're like, hey, we're going to team up on America. <laughs> you know? Like chapter Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, it says the block 
is on the world tour convincing developing countries to use local currencies for trade and not the U.S. dollar. They saying we about to get rid of that dollar, man. And you better leave the elites behind this because they want the dollar to go because once the dollar collapse, it's going to collapse everybody's structure. That's why everybody's going to a digital currency, the digital yuan for China, the digital ruby for Russia, and so forth. It says the development will affect several financial sectors in the U.S., leading to a market decline in the coming years. If BRICS ditches the dollar for trade, the USD currency will return to the homeland, leading to hyperinflation in America. Three U.S. sectors stand to be directly affected if BRICS dumps the dollar for trade. You hear that? And that's they keep talking about it, they're going to do it. And the three U.S. sectors that's going to be affected are going to be banking and financing, Technology and fintech and consumer goods and retail. You think about it, that's everything. The dollar gonna affect everything, man. It said consumer goods and retail. Everything at Walmart gonna go up. All the food gonna go up. Services gonna go up. The bank is going to belly up. Or start to initiate the digital currency. So this is about to happen. You got articles talking about it. Esau flexing it. This is not this hearsay conspiracy no more. They're telling you what they want to do. And they're making all this drama so that they can do that one goal right there. To build it up. You know, that's what Yahabasha is doing, making these devils do. They're making excuses to go to a digital currency. Creating wars and conflicts. So they be like, oh, oh I got your back. We're just going to go digital, man. And when that digital goes... It'd be more, it'd be, it'd be the trap, ultimate trap, a straight snare. Because then they can track you, your every purchase, your whereabouts. It'd be perfect. See, the wicked ones control. They want control of everything. They already got the world. They want to further, they pretty much want to destroy the nation of Israel. Because they give all of us the MOTB, who is your house shot going to save? So that's the goal. Of these devils is to make sure everybody got the MOTB. And they need a good, clever scheme and deceit to do it, so that you think it's for your benefit and really you being destroyed if you go receive that mark from Esau Edom. And that's what it's all about. So we gotta give our praises to Yahabashel Shah. We got this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and Lord willing, we evade the hour of temptation where the MOTB will roll out. So I'll probably put this in the this article. I'll put both the articles, if I remember, in, in the comment section. You know, that's what I'll do. Because I want to show another article to show you that these devils ain't playing. Here it goes. It says, billionaire Larry Ellison sends a vast AI fuel surveillance system can assure citizens will be on their best behavior. So when you dissect what this devil just said in this article, he basically want to put everybody on a, a top-notch surveillance system with AI. He wants you to be trapped up. This is chip talk, really. When you dissect and look at it spiritually, and he's saying that we need this. He's pushing for that. And this is a billionaire. I never knew nothing about him until I, you know, this article came across me. And he says, let me see. It says, but this is only the start of our surveillance dystopian. According to Larry Ellison, the billionaire co-founder of Oracle, he said AI will usher in a new era of surveillance that will be gleefully said will ensure citizens be on their best behavior. That's like that Brick Brother talk. 1984, Orwell. These devils want a, a surveillance system. He, he like bragging about it. See what I'm saying? This, this is out now. They're not hiding what they want to do. It says, Ellison made the comments as he spoke to investors earlier this week. Look, they're getting investors. All the billionaires are getting on this. All the Edomites are backing this up. Said during an article, Oracle financial analyst meeting where he shared his thoughts on the future of AI power surveillance tools. See, they're putting all they, they strength and power into artificial intelligence. It says, Ellison said AI will be used in the future to constantly watch and analyze vast surveillance systems like security cameras, police body cameras, doorbell cameras, 
and vehicle dashboard camera. See how everybody got rain? Esau watching. He watching us through our smart TVs too. It says, we're going to have supervision, Ellison said. Every police officer is going to be supervised at all times. And see how they're trying to push it? Something good. We got to watch the police. So we need this system. And it said, and if there's a problem, AI hey, report that problem and report it to the appropriate person. Citizens be on their best behavior because we are constantly recording and reporting everything that's going on. You hear that? That devil said constantly. So they want it where you can't even fart without this devil knowing what you're doing. Who wants to be? And that's very oppressive. We are already in an oppressive system as it is now. It's hard. You know, they can watch everything we do on our phones. They're already watching us now. But this devil said they need more surveillance. They want to watch you 24-7. And see, this is going to coincide with the First Amendment rights going away. They want to make you like a straight puppet. Basically, like communism. This is what you do. I watch you. You can't deviate. This is the narrative. Roll with it. I'll be eliminated. That's how Esau even go roll when his beast was get up. And they're investing in it. Money. To get this thing off the ground. Which is going to lead to. You know, we'll end off with that. Because that's all like B system talk. Like all them articles, all, everything we watching is to get to that B system. And they got it going. And they, they feel like, you know, they got it made so good that they'll tell you. It's just do people read those certain articles? Are they paying attention? Are they watching? Because if you paying attention, man, these devils telling you what they want to do. And look, while we read that, this is Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Beast system coming. You see the image popping up. This devil's giving, you know, life to it. And it says that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as are not watching the image of the beast should be killed. This thing is going to be ran by artificial intelligence. If you don't comply, what the saying the scripture is going to try to do to you? Off with your head. Ain't no, what they try to, uh, we did last time, a, a medical exempt. The devil ain't going for it this time. You get it or else. So we're going to need the Lord to really make it through this. And look, this is how like it's going to wrap up everything. There are all the articles we read. It's all about the money. Uh, Revelation 13, 16. And he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Verse 17. And they'll know that no man might buy or sell. Buy or sell economics right there. Talking about the money. So we know the mark is something that's going to do with the money. Say that he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for the number of a man. And his number is 603 store and 6. You know, it's going to be that 666, that barcode. It's going to be on all those devices that get hand out through this chaos. That the devil's about to manufacture. So they can get their B system. They can breathe life into their B system. They're going to use artificial intelligence to power it. Because Esau is at his lowest point. He has no wisdom. They're making bonehead dumb moves. And I'm looking like, hey, I ain't about to save y'all devils neither. The robot will not save you, Esau. <laughs> Nothing going to save you from this. You know, them saints go marching in. So I just wanted to hey, do a quick watch let's show you a lot of moves are getting made. A lot of things is happening. And we're going to keep our eyes single, focus on the Lord, not get caught up in the riffraff, all of the political stuff they got going on, because we already know what it's going to lead to. These devils just making moves, being political, trying to get people's, you know, he wants the people to want to get the beast system up. Esau wants to where you want his mark of the beast. It's where he want to get it. He want to finesse it. That cold light. You know, we looking like now, nah, devil. We we not falling for it, man. You might as well just come hard body and we'll see. Because we're not going to take your MOTB. Lord willing. So with that, hey, I, I'm going to keep stay on the thing too, y'all, Charlotte. Because it, it's a lot of other stuff been happening. I'm going to put a report in. So with that, man, I hope it's been edifying. I want to say Kwame Yash Allah. And stay locked in because your Howard shot is quickly on the way. Shalom.